All right, do you have estrogen dominance or dirty estrogen? So many of you are not familiar with this concept, but I think it's really important to break it down because it's an epidemic and it's something we really need to talk more and more about. Here's what's happening just internally and also in our environment. We are being bombarded by toxins in our air, our water, our food, our makeup, our beauty products, and so much more. If you wanna learn more about toxins in your daily life, check out my YouTube video right here where I break down some of the most common toxins that you are getting exposed to. But why is that relevant when we're talking about estrogen? Here's why, when we have a toxic load that's too high, it stresses out our liver, we get a dirty liver, which leads to dirty estrogen. We can actually measure that dirty estrogen through a lab test called Estrone. And I'm doing that all the time at Center Spring MD, where we really bring in this east-west approach to tackling everything, including a concept like estrogen dominance. Estrogen dominance will present in so many different ways. So hopefully you're taking notes and you're paying attention, literally doing a body scan to understand if this might be the issue for you. It's everything from getting migraine headaches to getting depressed, not being able to focus and concentrate to having memory lapses or memory loss, breast tenderness or really painful sore breasts that you have no explanation for. Here's actually my favorite line. I have so many patients that'll come to me and be like, where did these come from? I was flat chested my whole life and suddenly I've got boobs. Well, that's a sign of estrogen dominance. Bloating that you can't explain, that can also be a sign of estrogen dominance. And remember, gaining weight suddenly or having changes in your GI symptoms. So suddenly having constipation or suddenly having a lot more diarrhea, these are all things that can be associated with this concept of estrogen dominance. Now this gets missed all the time in practice and it drives me insane because a lot of times the answer that's given to so many people, to so many women is here, take this pill, right? It's a birth control pill or take this hormone replacement therapy, but we're not paying attention to how the body is actually utilizing and breaking estrogen down. What's even more important is to understand everyone's unique personal health history. If you've got certain genetic markers, and here I go in alphabet soup world, so just bear with me, I promise there's, there's a method to all this madness, but if you've got COMT, MTHFR, and some of these other genes, then we know that you are more prone to building up estrogen, not being able to break it down, having a dirty liver, and in turn having dirty estrogen. And that by itself is what leads to so much disease today, especially many of the hormone-based cancers that we're seeing in women, and also a lot of the autoimmune and inflammatory diseases we see as well. Now you probably think I'm gonna wrap this by saying this is a female issue, but this is actually a male issue as well. So many men are coming into the practice and showing in their lab work high estrone levels, low testosterone levels, and even levels of circulating estrogen that we didn't see a decade ago. So again, if you don't believe that our environmental load has increased, our stress levels have increased, and we are in this sort of world of dirty livers and toxicity, well, it just takes one day with me hanging out in my exam rooms to be convinced. Estrogen dominance is real. It's real for our teenagers, it's real for women, it's real for men as well. And having a plan and a strategy to really tackle it, break it down and measure it is something we all need to be doing, not only to feel great, but to also prevent disease. Now I have lots of videos on how to break estrogen down naturally. Check those out. And remember, I post new videos every week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.